Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Welcome to the official Board and Scale podcast. The podcast where we talk about board games and then sometimes mention the fact that we also own snakes and a couple <laughs> other reptiles. <laughs> Scaly things. It is the one and only podcast where you will find a various number of people <laughs> all the time. <laughs> of course, uh, you have your mainstay host, which is me, Sibo. Me? Kenzie? And I... the one and only D Money. I'm not always here. So and I feel like special I guest myself. today. Allison, I am uh, back. I leave for six weeks and I get forgotten and I don't have a mic or headset of my own. So super important. Yeah, you know, the studio is kind of running fired. on a budget right now, but that's okay. <laughs> you know, once uh, once we get our business taxes back, we're going to, you know, get new equipment from Uncle Sam. She's Please remove the appearance. pussy from the studio. <laughs> My love. Sorry. This is a family show. <laughs> explicit family show. Expli- this is an explicit family Explicitly show. Explicitly only family. Uh, in case you didn't know, what I, u- what I just used was an anatomical term <laughs> normally used... <laughs> To describe a certain part of a of a lady, the a very respectful lady, the woman. Okay. Uh, also, what you call felines, such as the one that was appearing on our table. And next, what's next? <laughs> Welcome to Love Island Games. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Kenzie wishes. Mm. Um, no, but we have some topics today um, that I have no contribution to so go ahead Dwayne lead us into the first one what no contribution Ooh. you got to think about these kinds of things uh let's start with simple right out the gate let's get negative with uh board gaming pet peeves <clears throat> what 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 irks your nerves what grinds your gears what 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 tallies your I can hassle? I can I've got I've got one the worst possible thing ever is when you have three players and one of them is Allison. Oh. I'm just kidding. I was going to say, I already know Kenzie's. It is when you're <laughs> ahead and somebody mentions that you're ahead <laughs> and then you don't win. Pet peeve. Um, that is probably my number one pet peeve. What's that I called? have fought with Allison over this. What's that called? I don't know what King it is. It's not King Crowdfunding? Making. No. No. It's just don't tell me that I'm going to win. Yeah. What, what? And then when I don't win and you beat me by like two freaking points. Oh, so, I just I just thought you were gonna win. At that moment in time, you were winning. It's a compliment. I was worried. Yeah. So to specify, okay, I, Sebastian, I'm a victim of the or victim. <laughs> I am a victim. <laughs> no, you're of not. Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> I'm don't sorry. Blink. Kenzie's pinching me with her to- with her toes. <laughs> My legs are not that long. <laughs> Yet to be seen. Anyways, I cannot read my. I don't know what high. it's called, but <laughs> I am also guilty of whatever it is. Where, you know, sometimes a, a player gets too far ahead, and you have to let it be known. You can't have. <laughs> you cannot just let them continue to Hashtag make crowdfunder. make a bigger lead. It's not even. That's not even specifically crowdfunding. It's more. Hey, maybe we don't target each other. And you, you target know, this evenly, one specific person that is Mackenzie. Maybe we specifically, if it's possible, you know, make moves or plays in the game that are mostly beneficial to you, but would also perhaps slightly harm the person in the lead. Not necessarily Kenzie. It just so happens to be her. Always most Kenzie. Times. It's just a majority of the time it's you. You're just so good that a majority of the time you're in first place. But I don't always win. Honestly, something on the. Op- the opposite side of the spectrum irks me more when someone's like, I'm not playing a really good game. Oh, I'm still behind. I got like no points. And then 20 minutes later, look who fucking they won. Went. That's weird. I hate you. That's weird. I've never done that Kenzie? before. Hey. Dude, Dude, you gonna say? You know Why what's am funny? I on both ends of the spectrum Kenzie, right now? Because <laughs> Kenzie is the one hate that me? Kenzie will get targeted. <laughs> complain about it and then still win and then be like oh maybe you guys should have worried about me losers what's that second place not first that's weird i never do that 
So that's one. Do you have any other ones? Um, that's I'm kind of a combo, huh? I'm about to sound like a 50-year-old man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Phones. Oh. Hey, and that's something we do not do here on this podcast. We absolutely never, ever lie about anything. Dwayne's saying specifically he's not going to lie. You can trust him. No cap. Never. Swear down. But yes. Swear um, down. I mean, like, if you're like, if you're like, that's fine. All right. If you're going to check, like, a notification. Oh, cool. but you mean when someone's scrolling? But I'm their talking phone. about you finish your turn. Yeah, and, and then you, you kick back and just right, and you're start ordering scrolling. special edition books, <laughs> and you're liking stories about fairy tale smut, and then your turn comes around what? and you're like, "Hold on, let me get my, uh, let me see what I'm trying to do here now." I'm. Um, uh, by the way, I just want to say that's the sec, that's the second time in two days I've heard the word smut. Do you know what smut is? Do you know what smut only is? the second time? Only the second time. Oh, in two days. Oh, which is strange, a strange occurrence. Um, so, because this is a family learn, show, I'm going to go ahead and explain it to learn. you. Smut is usually refers to uh, erotic style writing in, uh, you know, books. Dirty stuff, okay? Fingers and butts. <laughs> that's not how. <laughs> that's, always how it, it. that's always how it starts. You know, the main character is riding on a dragon they you know, they jump off of it to valiantly fight their foe and they land on the enemy and the enemy <laughs> slips the finger in the butt. <laughs> Not too far off. I mean, classic enemies to lovers. Yeah, classic <laughs> enemies to lovers. <laughs> hey, heads up for those who don't know, they're going to be doing a uh, book talk what slash bookish segue. related <laughs> podcast, YouTube channel, whatever. So also be aware, you know, heads up for that if you're interested. Um, but no, Dwayne, I do agree. In. The table thing, or podcast. sorry, the phone thing. The baby, shh. What? Chili chapters chat. The chili chapters chat. Yeah, the name is still being worked on. <laughs> we'll, figure, we'll figure that out. <laughs> Super cute. Um, <laughs> they you will be hearing from us soon. They haven't approved it through their producer. Um, I have to go talk to him in the mirror later. <laughs> he has to go tell me yes later. Um. But no, I do agree with the phone thing. Me uh, And honestly, me, it's more, I don't care that much if you're going to be on it, if you know the game. And like, I don't know, you're just like, maybe conversations died down. It's like a tired night or whatever. Yeah. And like, you know what you're going to do on your turn. My my biggest thing is like, when someone's teaching and someone's on their phone, mm-hmm. that, Derek? that doesn't know the game. Yes, Derek, if you're listening to this, I doubt he is. He can't even read a book. So Derek? I, know, I doubt he has an attention span for an hour long podcast. <laughs> Sorry, Derek. I don't even Just know. Just kidding, who you but are. I love you. You have plenty of space in that hey. head to pay attention. Did you not meet Derek? I don't know who Derek No, he is. he didn't he wasn't there that night at oh. Black Potion. Yeah, you didn't get I'm to witness sorry. his magnificent head. Anyway. Oh wait. Yeah, I have. Is Were he you the there? one you, you brought? Met big head? To big to big potion. <laughs> <laughs> you you brought you brought him to Black Potion. Who he brought there? Big Head. Oh, was Kevin not there? We played ri- we played the risk card game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, okay, yeah. okay. Yes. That's how he I have met. Said he I was gonna bring Derek. Derek. Was he said he told all of his friends that he was gonna bring a guy with a really big head. Yeah, that's how I introduced him. His head. Was I know I've mentioned that multiple times. His head was yeah. a little abnormal, <laughs> <laughs> swelling from the military. You know, he's got beat up too. Or just his <laughs> ego, that too. Wow. Mm. Um, <laughs> so that when when someone's teaching him. a game, promise that you don't know. Uh, not you specifically, <laughs> the, the you in general. And you don't, like, I get that some people can pay attention and be looking at their phone, but it feels wrong when someone's teaching a game and someone's just like, mm hmm, mm hmm, yep, yep, yep. And I don't know, it looks just as bad when we're doing the podcast and Dwayne is doing something and I'm like, wow, that's so interesting. <laughs> and I scroll through my phone for the next topic or whatever relevant thing. Um, but the other thing is when it's like someone, when it's not their turn, they're just on their phone, it gets to them and then they start, they're like planning their whole entire turn for a big yeah. heavy game. Mm-hmm. That is to me. So, if, you, if you know the game, I don't care because your yes. turn's going to come and you're going to go, okay, my turn. Cool. Duh, duh, my whatever. very, very, very best friend is so bad at that. She, 
has this really bad habit of when she gets angry at a game, she will just grab her phone and stay on it for the rest of the game. And she doesn't care what her turn is. If it's her turn, she'll just do something. She does not care because if she gets mad at a game, she picks up her phone and stays on her phone, puts it down for two seconds, does her turn, doesn't care what it is, and then picks her phone right back up as soon as it's done. She starts looking for the designer on LinkedIn. I would like to meet them. (laughs) I don't know. You jealous? Allison will look for the designer on LinkedIn (laughs) and be like, how dare you create this for (laughs) me? I'm negatively reviewing your profile. I don't know. Uh, what's another peeve? Mm. Um, I can keep going all day. My I'm just a pissy little man. <laughs> <Ooh>. My <laughs> biggest one. Well, I wouldn't say biggest one. <laughs> mistreating cards. If I see people oh, like... Oh, Kevin. <laughs> if it's my game, I don't care. Oh, if it's my game, I care more. No, no, no. Like, if it's me... Because I have a habit. I'm, I'm guilty of this. And I try to be conscious of it. The mistreating cards. I caught myself one time with cards like pinched between my lips not my game that's crazy yes it is and i noticed it and i was like what in the fuck is wrong with me they're never gonna play with me again i don't know if it was you guys um but i i quickly took them out and then was very conscious about not putting them anywhere near my face again i'm adding that to my list of icks Putting cards in your mouth. Red Look, flag. That's, I get it. Red I get flag. it. That's totally okay. Went on autopilot for a second. I went into straight the, to the mouth. I went into the mirror and I was like, <laughs> "Who are you?" Went baby mode. Yeah. <laughs> baby mode. I just wanted to suckle on the edges, <laughs> the corners of the card. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, I said Kevin because what he will do is, whenever he plays a card, puts one down, discards it, whatever, he will slap that corner down. With the might oh, like. of Zeus. <laughs> like, he slaps that bitch on the table, and it's like a hundred decibels. <laughs> like, he's smiting the he's smiting the board. Exactly. Or, or the table or <laughs> yes. whatever. Wow. So, I mean, uh, also, people that, like, when they hold their cards, they bend on the sides. It drives yeah. me insane. Because when they set the cards down, you can see yeah. that the card is, like, bent on either side. And mm. they set that card down, and I'm like, that nah. just, it grinds my gears see, every time I see when it. When you're, like, a one-hand gripper, and you put, like, your whole hand of that's cards. my nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> you have oh, that's a thing. You haven't been here. That's um, a thing. When you got, like, a one-hand gripper thing, <laughs> it's it's kind of a weird, that's it's a weird way to school. hide your cards to bend is them a little like, bit towards the outside. Every, Again, every if it's my game, every I do know that I do this. <laughs> when it's someone else's game, I try to be conscious about not ruining their cards because ever since that mouth thing, I was like, <laughs> what's wrong with me? How could I do that, you know? Another another card thing. Does it bother y'all when people are constantly shuffling their cards in their hand? Uh, like just like... <laughs> like neurotically All doing the it? time? I kind of do it. You do? Yeah, I if, I, if I have like five, six cards in my hands, I'll just be like... Like, I don't care. It like doesn't bother fault. me, but I know people who it, it does, like, kind of irk them. Like, when I they're just, like, shuffling their cards the whole time. It doesn't bother me. I sometimes catch myself doing it, and I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I think I did that the other day. I was like, why did I just shuffle my cards? I think it was Libertalia. Oh, yeah, you were shuffling. I was like, why did I just shuffle these? For those of you who don't know, there's one person that essentially randomly deals out a, a set of cards per round or phase or whatever. And everyone else just gets the matching set of those cards. Kenzie, for some reason, got her matching set and then shuffled them. <laughs> when norm- they don't, they don't need to be. You just get them in your hand. I get to look at all of so them. So she shuffled them, shuffled them a few times and then was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> she picked them right back up and was like, "Why did I do that?" <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Another peeve. Hmm. Probably take me a minute. Allison, do you have any off the off the dome? Off rip. No, I can't think of any other ones. Hey, y'all, this is Allison's head. <laughs> I can hear the cricket noise from Kenzie's head. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It took me a minute to get that figured out. Another one. Another cricket? Another one. Oh, okay. I've talked about this before. I think it was, like, on the first episode. But um, randomly choosing the first player. Oh, Make oh something. Yeah. Just something. 
please. It's 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 Man, that it's easy. easy. It <laughs> literally. You have a game. I don't know. Literally. Uh, wit- literally, <laughs> literally, you have a freaking game literally. about like hitting the gritty, cleaning the house. <laughs> it's like just make last person to touch a broom, like something, dude. Pick up your freaking broom. I don't want it. I don't want a fucking schwazi all the time. I don't want to flip a coin. I love bro. schwazi. It's, it's cool, but I like love him. I love just everyone putting their finger on the same spot. Okay. You yeah. could make it. you could make one thing. Any theme, it doesn't matter. Any theme. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> chess, dude. Like, white goes first. That's fine. White privilege, buddy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Bullshit. We're cutting that. Just kidding. It's not cut. It's not cut. It's I'm funny. here. I said it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> All right, everybody. Remember, this is a family show, so don't be commenting anything weird, okay? <laughs> you okay? Yeah. A little bit fired up. Okay. All of us had energy drinks before we started this. I'm good. So some of us are some of us are a little bit hyped up. <sighs> I may be I'm i I'm in the middle of tired and energetic, energetic right now. In the sky. What? <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing. Woo. That's the kind of content you're gonna get on the book <laughs> on the book <laughs> podcast. You know, we're gonna fix it and work on it along the way. <laughs> Give her a chance, folks, please. Fired up. Fired. <laughs> All right. I think I think we're good with peeves. Yeah. <laughs> I got I got I got it off my chip. Okay. I got it off my What's chips. What's the other one? I feel fine. Um is there such thing as too many games? Owning too <sighs> many games? Yo. Oh. Ness. Yes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no and yes. No yes. yes, only because I did not. My, you didn't pick I up thought what I was that putting you down. just messed that up. I did not understand that you were trying to say no and yes. It's a really bad joke. That was horrible. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to. I was hoping someone yes. would pick it up. <laughs> yes, but anyways, yes because you can't. You can't. You just can't play them all. You can't. You yeah. know, unless you're a professional board game player, it's kind of. And then Me. even then, you're like playing stuff that people tell you to. You know. Yeah. Doesn't um, it take out the joy? No. Because then you just have perm like that's your job. You get paid for it. I don't know if someone's but telling you to play something and you're not actually playing it to play it. Doesn't it take out the joy of playing it? Well, that's the thing is you're playing. You you might be playing stuff you don't care about. You have no interest in, but you're playing it because whatever, right? But there's too many games to play. Like there's too many, not enough hours in the day to play all of our games. Like in a year, me and Kenzie play pretty frequently. You know, most of, throughout the week we'll play like we'll go through streaks mm-hmm. of us just us two playing games whenever we have time. And even then, like, we don't get through both of our shelves in a year, you know? Like, in one year, we probably play half of our collection. We have games that we choose to play once every three years. Well, I wouldn't say choose. It's just... We change. Yes. Just the last time we played was three years. That might be four years ago. (laughs) It was a while ago. Um, But I'll never get rid of it. No, because I am a collector brain. And it's my favorite game. just love getting a new game and opening <laughs> it up and just sliding it in between in between the slats mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. between the pages yeah 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 just what? Between, between the trees yeah <laughs> it's nice yeah it is um, i wish i could have more games but i don't know if our house can hold that much weight okay i've just got way too many yeah we are working on that problem we you are know, once on upon it. a time, I would have said no. Who cares? Oh, wait, what was the question? Too many, games. too many games. Can oh. you have too many? No. Yes. Once upon a time, I would have said no. You can't. Like you can have as many games as you want. But now that I'm starting to, well, you can. Of course, you can. Should you though? Uh, no. Listen, hang on. Once upon <laughs> a time, I would have said no. You can't have too many. But now. Now that we're finding games that we know we love and we're curating our collection, I don't know. I think having games that you're not going to play can sometimes be detrimental because they're literally just sitting there. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm getting to the point where I'm okay with getting rid of some games. There are some games like Food Chain that even though, yes, we only play it once every few years. It ain't going away. It's not going anywhere. We also... 
Am I th- still thinking about backing a special edition of that game? Of course I am. Even though I haven't played it in almost four years. Because then we could also get ketchup. The ketchup expansion. Deluxe. But the problem... <laughs> we have a deluxe insert for that game anyway that organizes <laughs> the cards me. really we nicely. Do. And it came from overseas and it was really expensive. So Yeah, so it's kind of hard to like try and replace it. And I'm not going to try and sell it to someone for like the price of the new game when it's years yeah. old and the insert is like sure it's expensive but at the end of the day that like the other person might not care whatever right like i don't know if it's worth trying to sell for a hundred plus whatever dollars for a game that's currently being sold a deluxe version yeah. for less than that you know what we're we talking about oh games <laughs> oh games yeah allison what about your collection that you are slowly you, uh, bringing over here. You mean my collection that I keep at your guys' house because <laughs> I only play with you guys? <laughs> it's doing great. Yeah. <laughs> you Just have a living, small collection living at your happily. House. But that's like mainly like family games that I play. No, like don't short games me. that everybody can It's her drunken play. party Not games. Not like strategic games. Yeah. It's strip Jenga. Um, Actually, that is in our garage, so. We have a good time at my house playing games. <laughs> Yeah, that's where the kids aren't, okay? That's not a family-friendly <laughs> show over there. Oh, we have family games. <laughs> we have making family games. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The implication. That you're making. Yeah. Anyways. So the next topic, <laughs> and I'm going to steal it from you because it's kind of related to this. Oh. How do we feel about R-rated content in the board gaming space Mm. um i don't care r-rated in a sense like i'm just gonna go topic by topic right like how do you feel about murder in the board game space such as the saw games right where you're brutalizing thematically people are getting brutalized and trying to escape right the final girl games like stuff like that i feel like it's well those two Specifically, like Final Girl is playing up the whole like Friday the Thirteenth Nightmare on Elm Street thing. It's, yeah, it's that kind of thing. Saw is being Saw. Like if you've ever seen the movies, you know what it's about. It's about fucking people yeah. up. Um, like I feel like if it's if it's like a game where you're like. Fucking, I'm going to walk down the street and just and fucking murder that person. 20 points. Like GTA, but a board game. <laughs> yeah. That's a little, that might be a little weird. Yeah. But like. I'm playing this card. I pick up one stripper for half price. <laughs> <laughs> and I take two steps down the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel like it's a little weird if you're, if you're getting into like real, the real world stuff. But like with like Saw in that in Final Girl, like you know, you it's that's what it is. It's exactly what it is. It's Saw and it's it's a horror movie game. Yeah, but it's still like content wise, right? Like it's still a very mature theme. Like imagine trying to play it with your kids and explaining, like, <laughs> why would you play it with your kids? A teenager, right? Okay, like a fourteen year old, because that's what the age ratings are on those games. I'm pretty sure we'd have to look it up, but uh, ki- plenty of like. Teenagers play Dead by Daylight, right? And the whole thing about that is like demonic yeah. entity is coming to kill you. And if you're like a kid and you're like, oh, I'm going to play with my, you're a teenager. Oh, I've played this board game before. I'll play with my family and be the demon and kill everyone. You know, what's, why is that? It feels more acceptable than like part, even partial nudity in a game. That's, that's what I'm, because it's so outlandish. Like, like, demons and this like this thing has superpowers you're sacrificing this thing to an entity it's it's literally like you're not just walking out your front door and shanking someone the first person you see like it's it's so out there that it's like that it's in there (laughs) yeah (laughs) like it's not real enough one of those in out situations yeah (laughs) (laughs) It's, it's it's not real enough it's it, it it's so far out there it's acceptable. It's fantasy. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um and I'm sure there's plenty of adult games where it's like a picture of boobs and butts and stuff. Those are like mo- they mostly tend to be party games. 
adult party games, you know, Cards Against, against Humanity, humanity but with dog pictures, shit. but with pictures on it, right? Imagine that. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> when you want to play games, but your friends don't. Nope, you didn't. Nope, it didn't nah, I hit. couldn't do it. You're done. Cut off. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh at my own joke there. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just I've seen the topic brought it up. I like I know you you brought the topic, but I've seen it brought up, um, in other spaces like board game content for people on YouTube. You know, who uh may or may not experience censorship for the way that they speak because it's a little bit too adult, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, stuff like that, too, bothers me when it's... Okay, but this game is about murder, and I can't say the F word. <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> I'm stuck on that joke. I'm gonna, I keep saying it. I need to give it up. I want to say it. I don't know, but that's just I will know, say, interesting though, thing. Like, something... I feel like something like nudity, you probably wouldn't be able to get away with that. As much as Not easily. in, like, a real... Not if you want to be taken seriously, just with the climate of board gaming right now. I mean... Because, like, if I go to Black Potion and somebody walks by the table and they see a card with a titty in my hand... Just one? And they see two <laughs> cards. What happened to this lady? <laughs> it's... Um, Mecha nipples. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's just, like... Robobobs? That's a little weird. But, like... Why? It's a, just anatomy. It is. It is just an act. I thought he was talking about the one titty again. Why is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's weird. You should have. <laughs> hey, everyone's supposed to have two of them, and if you don't, um, that's fine. That's totally fine. That's okay. I just they think all that, of a sudden that both get super defensive. It's fine, guys. Just, it's yeah, it's fine. hey, it's fine. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, you know what's funny is that as long as one person has ever like lost a nipple in an accident or something, the worldwide average of nipples is less than two. Right? Like if we're not rounding up, then the number of nipples in the world is not even. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm off track. This is a family show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where that went. I don't next. know either, dude. That was way off. Okay, let's move <laughs> on. What's the next topic? What is the next topic? What do I got here? Um, Our intern uh, took a break, so we don't have a list of things <laughs> ready. <laughs> um, That's all the ones I had. Oh, are we going to talk about FOMO now? All right, let's talk about FOMO. Yeah. Oh, actually. No, you go. No, you go. No, you go. No, you go. What was yours? Whose turn is it? Aren't we super cute? <laughs> That's yours. Turn it. Mine was uh, games that you hate, but oh. everybody else likes playing. Oh well, now that you've said it, let's do that one. Oh, that's a good topic, actually. And I hate you. <laughs> Mask man. Mask man. <laughs> well, that's different though because you like that, and it seems like people around you don't like it. That's Although I literally the topic. Said, no, she said games that you hate, but that everyone you else like. Oh, else same thing. Oh, hey. same thing. Like opposite sides of the scale. Same thing. No, nah, it's different. I don't it's literally know if the I opposite. have any. Brass Birmingham. Yeah, is her hate favorite it. game ever. I hate it, and I always <laughs> win, even though I absolutely hate it. She's undefeated in that game. I and always win. <laughs> she complains the entire time. What the fuck am I doing? Dominant what is this species. game? What am I supposed to do? Dominant species. Kenzie hates it. Wins half the time. Allison wins the other Majority half of that. Of the time. Also doesn't really like it. I love that game. I lose every time and I still love it every time. Allison would voluntarily play it though. I would not voluntarily play that. I play that once a year for Sebastian's birthday and that is it. <laughs> Although the new Dominant Species Marine, I think I I learned it and I'm going to start dragging it to Black Potion and make people play with me. <laughs> you know? Because there's always going to be new people there. But anyways. So that's you guys' is basically your call-outs, Brass Birmingham. 100%. Which, come on. Number one game toppled Gloomhaven off the number one deservedly because Gloomhaven is trash. So just kidding. I, I completely respect Gloomhaven. You just don't like taking the time to play it with them. No, I'm just, it's really just set up and tear down. It's the only thing. I still which like it. I still do, like the game. For you. 
I know. You don't even have to do that if you played multiple times in one time. But, dude, sitting there four hours doing the same thing. <laughs> it's fine. I like the game. You baby. It's fine. Four hours doing the same thing. Hey, I'll play Dominant Species. It's an eight-hour game. Exactly. It's different every time. And I can set that up easily. Gloomhaven is different every time. It's a different scenario. Don't we can agree it. to disagree. That's not my game, though. That's not my game. I don't... Terraforming Mars is probably my game that I really that I dislike and everyone else likes. Wow. Yeah, the base one. I was eh about it when we first played it. I was meh because mm-hmm. it just took too freaking long. Dude. <laughs> took uh, so freaking long. That's understandable. Prelude came out, helped it a little bit. Still not really my cup of tea. Um, all of the expansions, if you add all of the expansions, make it good. But that's so much. I don't know when I have. All these other games that I really, really enjoy in my collection. I only play it because I have cute little 3D pieces for it. <laughs> that is very cool. Reason. That is very cool. I will always play a game that has fancy-fied pieces. Mm-hmm. pieces <laughs> deluxe pieces. Fancy-fied. Fancy-fied. Fancy flies. <laughs> <laughs> fancy pants pieces. I don't know. Fancy pants. It's my nickname in high school. Mm-hmm. See. And then we got Ares and shortens the game more. You still kind of get the same vibe. Still not like it's still too long. I've never played with the expansion, <coughs> so I can't for Aries? put my two spe- two No, cents terraforming. On. Yeah, I'm talking about the card game version. He's talking about terraforming. He's never played with You the never expansions. played with any expansions? Mm-mm. They're pretty good. But it's you have to add three more <laughs> like the guy who just said he hates it. But you have <laughs> No, I said if you add all the expansions <laughs> then it's good, but you have to add all the expansions and like like I said it's just I could just set up Brass quickly and play that, you know, down a species. Set up brass quickly. Yes, because we have a deluxe organizer. Okay, the organizer does definitely help. It's so easy. Um, (laughs) So easy. You know, and and whatever other games that we like to play, Maracaibo, for one. Maracaibo is a lot of setup. It is a lot of setup, you know, but I like that more than Terraforming Mars. So if we're just talking about long, you know, um, I could say a bunch of other games. I literally can say every other game on the shelf is above Terraforming Mars for me. (laughs) Um, and that's not to, I know that's another one that's high up on the list that everyone loves but meh for me what's yours? Spirit Island never played I've never played it it doesn't catch my attention Sebastian refused to buy it because it's co-op and he won't play co-op with me number one it's co-op yeah. I don't like co-op there you go. I don't like co-op I'm a selfish piece of shit and I don't want to play with yeah. I don't want to play alongside you yeah. I just want to win I want me to win I want to win even though I don't all the time I want even though I don't twi- yeah. Most of the time. It just feels more worth it, you know? Yeah. You, you play a game with four or five people, and, and you beat all of them, <laughs> and you beat all of them, which for me is like a quarter of the time. It feels really good. And then if we fuck up, and it's my fault, it's like, oh. It's fine. I won't Honestly, let you fuck up. Honestly, that, that's the problem. That I don't even <laughs> care about as much, but with co-op games, let, go ahead. Yep. Just everybody's like, hey, you should do this on your turn. And I'm like, can I just do my turn? Now, how about you shut the fuck up? No, and you need to do exactly. what's best for you. <laughs> I made that decision for you. What's best for you is what I say. <laughs> See, and there's that's the thing, you know, most co-ops, it's hard to get around quarterbacking, especially with open information. <laughs> what's the one that we do like the co-op because it's closed information? Sky Team. We just got it. Sky Team, yeah. Sky Team is one. If a co-op has closed information like that, where they force you to not have all the information i'm fine with it um because it's still me making decisions and if we if we crash and burn and all and all the people at the airport don't make it too bad i also really enjoy race to the raft i'm glad that you do that that you enjoy (laughs) (laughs) which that is another game where your information is hidden your your team can't really tell you what to do although some people still like to give you eyes when you lay a card down and they go did you really want to do that (laughs) Did you actually want to do yeah, that? Yeah, but it you plays take in it like five minutes. It is, and quick. it's not it is quick. like it's a huge, devastating it, thing. That it, it's it it's um like it's worth its weight. I feel like you know you get a win in there. It's a quick setup. It's a whatever. You can set it up quick, win a game, put it away, and it feels like cool. We won. Cool. You lose. Whatever. You spent five minutes playing. Mm-hmm. You know. Not huge investment. Yeah. And even all the co-ops that I like aren't even co-op. They're like semi-co-op at that. Like fucking nemesis and dead of winter where there's a traitor yeah. or possibly traitor yeah. or traitors yeah i actually really like nemesis and again because the really possibility like 
if I can turn on my wife at the last Nemesis minute. is... I oh, I can turn you on? Nemesis is shit. What? Because I can turn on my wife? This is a family That's show. what you got from that? <laughs> That's what she said. Okay. Okay. Anyways. Um, <laughs> and Nemesis is another one where you have uh, potential hidden traitors. You know, yes, sure, we're all trying to survive. And, you know, m- either make it off the ship or, or blow, blow it up or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. But with the possibility of a traitor who's potentially might, like, you actually don't want that person to survive. So make that happen, and then you fly away and you win, right? Yeah. And the game, I think it's a, not a really a variant, but like, uh, hey, if you want to make the game a little spicier, for the amount of players, throw in this many traitors. So that spicier? Like chili peppers? This is the official <laughs> intro for the <laughs> church. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 14. We just segue <laughs> into that. The Iron mm. Flame Saga. Um, what? No. Is nope. that not what it's called? Imperion. Good try, though. Imperion Saga? Mm-hmm. Isn't Imperion a publishing company? No. Nope. I thought it was. No. Nope. Imperion is dragons. Come on. How about you, you drag these? Okay. Hey. <laughs> That's with every comment, I keep being like, you know how awesome it would be for Sebastian to just make comments the entire time while we're doing our book talk podcast. He's going to. He's going to have a mic and headphones the whole time. Producer comments. Yep. yep. It's just going to be all bleeped out every time. He did <laughs> what? <laughs> with who? Director's commentary. Yeah, there it he is. He went where? Go ahead, continue. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Dwayne was born past 2000, so he doesn't know the reference that we're referring to. He's I a was young, not. He's a young one. I was 99. Oh, wait, you're 99. Yeah. All right, you're on the cusp. <laughs> Cindy and I argued about that the other day, and I was right. What? She was wrong. About how old you are. Because <laughs> Kenzie, she looked up your information. I, no, I listen to intently sometimes, and it is weird. Okay, we can go on to the next one. <laughs> Kenzie is a weird stalker. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> Just kidding. That's too many chili peppers for this. Yeah, too many chili pepper next. levels. Next. <laughs> um, so Spirit Island in general, I've never oh, played. God. She's never played. <laughs> yeah, so to come back to that topic eight minutes later. <laughs> um, Spirit Island, uh, I have no opinion on it. I agree with you, though, <laughs> that I don't see... I guess for you, it's the co-op thing. For me in general, I just don't see the appeal in it. I don't know. I mean, it looks cool. The concept is cool. See, I meant- I'll give it that. But I just, I didn't have fun playing it the entire time. Who'd you play with? Your opinion is wrong. Yeah, I mean, Oh, wait, no. Enough. Your opinion is right. Sebastian agrees with you. He doesn't like it at all. So, End of story um, next. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that awkward silence, Ben? <laughs> Screw off. <laughs> um, yeah. Do we want to do one more round of games that we don't like that we feel like everyone else loves? I think I think that's like my only one. I don't know if I have another one. Um, unpopular opinion. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, not a fan of Ark Nova. I knew it. Yeah. That's I knew one. it. Whoa. That's the uh, response I always get. Yeah, that's a big one. I knew as soon that's as you took one. the mic, Whoa. I knew it was coming. Whoa. Dwayne regrets meeting Allison finally. <laughs> <laughs> that is that was, a, th- you, you had to expect. That's that. why I said unpopular. Opinion. That is a crazy. I statement. understand some people hey, feel highly. Allison, is it that you don't like the game or you don't like how long it is? The Both. concept I like, like building a zoo, great. There's just some, I don't know, some aspect of the game that I'm just like, I'm, I don't want to pull it out and play it. You heard it here first. She doesn't want to pull it out. <laughs> um, Never pull it out. A zoo king, though? <laughs> Another preview for the other podcast, which will not be a family show. Okay? Do not watch that one with your kids. Do not watch it with your spouse. You might no end up making out. more kids. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> this is a high-quality high production. Highbrow. Highbrow. 
We're catering. Right, everybody, everybody else can list their games that they don't like, so we can stop hating <laughs> no, on them. No, I want to keep. I want to talk about Ark Nova because I, I have, I have, I have a wavering opinion on Ark Nova. Does it depend on when I win or lose? <laughs> no. I will say I have had games that I enjoy of Ark Nova, and in general, I like the concept. I like the mechanics of the game itself, so I like the game. But I have had some really unenjoyable plays. Ark Nova has a lot of um, randomness to it. You can get some really crappy cards in Ark Nova, and if you just continuously get non-great cards, and you don't get cards that are going to suit you and what your um, like the, what the goals are, you're not going to do good. It's just a thing, and that's what's going to happen. So I feel like that kind of dictates your game a lot. Yeah. It really does. And I don't know. I've had, like I said, I've had really unenjoyable games where I'm like, damn, do I even like this game? Because I'm just slogging through <laughs> while I watch, usually, Kenzie just <laughs> flying on the scoreboard. And I, ha- I, you know how when you get to two conservation points, you get something, yeah. right? She'll be at like 12 conservation points. I've gotten all the bonuses. And I'm like at one conservation <laughs> point because I just can't figure it out for that game. And I'm just like, please, man, just end this. And my misery. <laughs> Kenzie's like, hold on, I think I'm gonna get my new high score in this one. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta say she's winning. Yeah. And then you'll just And then I'll all of a sudden no. She'll just be mad and then still beat me by a lot of points. I feel like this is a topic uh, that we can flip into, like on the fly. Targeted. What? Unenjoyable plays you've had in a Ooh. game. Of games that you like in yeah. general? Yeah. So so name a game that you like in general but have had unenjoyable plays. Um, one off the cuff that I can think of, because it happened like two weeks ago, uh, was Amon Ra. I played it for the first time. I liked the game a lot, but holy shit, was I pissed during the entire playthrough. Oh. <laughs> the Kenzie entire brought, brought one up for me. Playthrough of Darwin's Journey. Right. Oh, did you play it with us? Yours. She's talking about me. Sebastian. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Amon Ra what? <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. Amon Ra was really cool. Um, I really liked it. But, yeah, I was pissed off the entire the entire time we were playing. Um, it's just because like, I... Something I found out about myself is I don't like having my turn taken away from me. So, like, I know... That can happen. I know what I'm doing, but someone does the same exact shit the turn I'm about to do. It. So they block you. Yes. Okay. So, like, I I want this spot. I'm bidding on this space. I put five coins, right? I'm bidding five. Oh, it's a bidding game? Yeah. That's your first sort mistake, of. playing a bidding game. And then somebody jumps in on it. And they Jump they Jump put in they put in they put in uh, nine, and it's just like, bro, leave me the fuck alone, <laughs> get away. They spent every last coin to just steal it from you. <laughs> and like the thing is, in Amon Ra, you can't bid on the same thing. So if if you bid and somebody outbids you, you have to go to another spot. You can't outbid them, and you just lose whatever you bid. You can come back, oh. but it's just the fact that like I can't outbid you. I have to leave and then come back. And in that time, somebody can go and outbid them. So now you got to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <It's... laughs> so Dwayne hates Amon Ra. Don't I don't ever ask Amon him. Ra. Don't ever ask him to play it with you. I will play again. Just don't, don't fuck with me. Give him a little bit. Yeah, leave uh, me alone. That's all I ask. Let him have a breather. <laughs> Let me be. Okay. Um, so Kenzie brought out Darwin's Journey because it's a beautiful, beautiful game, right? Yes, here. because it's an absolutely amazing game, and we love. She specifically had one this one play, and I don't no, 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 no. Do not start just, on my. You play. know, she was tired and moody. And <laughs> I'm just kidding. Do you actually? I don't remember you having. I'm going to talk about mine because I had a horrible play with this recently. I like this game. I love the concept of it. Um, I love all the mechanics in the game. There is a add-on that you can, the time, the uh, time penalty, whatever. It's the it's just the expansion. It's just it's the, time. F- the it's Firelands. 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 
the other side of the board? Yes, and with the adventure tokens, which introduces a time mechanic. Mm -hmm. Whatever. They're all of whatever mechanic it introduces that <laughs> has time penalties. Uh, we we tried to play this probably two weeks ago or something like that. And well, so we played it once already with the time penalties and it was fine. We did good. It was a good game. I won, you know. It was totally fine. Um but for some reason the time penalties in this one, the way that they comboed because they're cumulative for how far you go down the penalty track, for how for like our specific game that was happening right now, I was not right now, at the moment, I was hamstrung and could do literally nothing. He did not manage his penalties very well. I didn't and manage. they compounded very hard on him and he could not come back from them. Therefore it just continued to beat him up and he could not get out of the hole. Yeah, and I couldn't do um I basically had the penalty where uh, my gaining an objective like which gives you two coins normally you don't have to worry about another character in the way. I had but I had a a penalty on me cuz I, I forgot what you there was. You had to add two coins. But I I had my own penalty plus the time mm -hmm. penalty. And so I literally if I wanted to do that I got zero coins. And in order to play uh, a, a guy on an action space, if there's other people, you have to pay coins. And I also had a bonus penalty for that. That's what it was. So not only was I not getting coins for that free, free action, I also had to pay extra coins to do an action. And the way that it is in two players, the books are not uh, divided in each half. There's just each entire journal yeah. is you know, counts towards the penalty. So I, I could not afford to do any action in a journal. Um, and I could not gain <laughs> coins to do the actions from, uh, from the journal. I couldn't get, co get coins because of the other penalty. And the, when you turn the in, what? The letters. Oh, the envelopes had an envelope penalty, so I couldn't even do that to gain stuff. Um, and then also, the way that it worked out, Kenzie had put stuff in the museum, which normally gives you a lot of coins. She put stuff in the museum that she had, basically, that I, ha I also had, and I had planned on going there to get coins. I just did it the turn before. But if you're the person to, if you're the first person to put that stuff in there, you're the only one that can put mm -hmm. a certain thing in there, each thing in there once. She got all the coins. And I was like, that was my only way to get coins to do anything useful. So my turn, when it got back to me after that, I was like, I literally can't do anything. Like, I don't even know. Because there's no, as far as I'm aware, there's no passing. Like, you can't just be like, oh, I pass. And then what am I going to do? Just pass, pass, pass until the next round. Get one free action. And then... You know, and I was like, I just, this is not going to work out. And so we ended up putting it away. We like, put the game away. <laughs> yeah. And I really hate doing that, but I was so frustrated and just over it. And we were literally like the third round in Literally. out of six. Literally. The game was hitting the gwitty on me <laughs> and I just couldn't <laughs> deal with it. So we put it away. And I love, and the game, like yeah. I said, I really like it. Great looking game. You know, all the mechanics are really cool, really fun, really satisfying. We are never playing with the time penalties. I don't care if they are part of the game. We're not playing with them. They suck. We we'll are going to play with them. He's just going to learn how to manage them. <laughs> no. So so what it is is you the time penalty is normally just an amount of negative points at the end of the game. Or if you go too far, you lose points immediately for each space you lose. The extra time penalty thing basically has those compounding penalties that affect you know other things in the game. So you aren't just allowed to spend time willy-nilly. You have to actually pay attention. Well, you're still sacrificing points at the end of the game. But you have to pay attention to the time that you're spending. And nah, you can't just go through and take the stuff that's the most expensive time. It's I have a problem with things, additions in games. Games? That are, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I just turned 16, you <laughs> I have problems with additions in games where it really only adds ouchies. And those time penalties are all just ouchies. And so I was like, this is not fun. Because he has to plan. No, that's dumb. Okay, you think Darwin planned when he got on a boat and just started walking around the island and is like, what animal is that? Let me grab it. Wow, it's brightly colored and very sticky. Look at that I'm going to lick it. <laughs> I bet that beak cracks Great nuts. game. Hugely unenjoyable play. 
that one was. And sorry, that was long-winded. Do you have another one? You Did you say a second one? You said Amon Ra. Or was Amon Ra your first one? Amon Ra was my first one. Do another one? Because her second I, was Ark Nova. I do have another one. Okay. Uh, Blood Rage. Mm. I, I fucking, have so many of that <laughs> I game. fucking <laughs> love Blood Rage. Like, it's such a sick game. <laughs> it looks cool. It plays well. It's card drafting, area control. Um, but I've had multiple plays where it's just like, I feel like literally anything I do, someone has a response to it. And it's like, holy shit, man. Where it's like, um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna battle here. Oh, all your fucking all your warriors are dead. I would cry. And all it's your like friends bro. Are dead. I would cry. And it's like that every single battle. It's like it doesn't matter what I do, yeah. you have the perfect card that counters it. And it's like Man, sometimes you just have those plays where it doesn't work it's out. It's like one or two times is cool, but the whole game. Oh, God. I hate when someone just spams the Loki card and it's like, okay, that's yeah, <laughs> okay. That's why I don't play those games. It's because I would cry. But I love it. It's such a no. good game. It's so the, fun. These these step by step purposeful battle that's happening. Kenzie's like, what the? F- <laughs> why are you in my square? How <laughs> dare you? Away. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> is this because you hate me? Yeah. Is this because I burnt dinner last night? And no, it's the worst part about it is when I know they got some crazy shit. Because I'll have like a monster, my leader, and like two dudes in one spot, and they bring over one warrior. <laughs> just smiling. And it's like, they're oh like, my. You, they're like, like <laughs> they have, they very it's like, you're not, you're not bringing one warrior to do, like, you you got some crazy shit. Either all my guys are dead. Or you're gonna get some shit for losing. All you spent you spent three minutes <laughs> deciding. <laughs> you spent three minutes deciding what you're gonna bring in, what card you're gonna play. You're like, all right, okay, I think I'm done. You go ahead and play. They just play their one card. They're like, all right, you ready? Right. You, that one guy, you ready? That's what I'm hey. saying. <laughs> like, you know what? I don't even want to fucking do this anymore, ready? dude. That is what I would do. Hey, you ready? <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> they play the card plus twenty. <laughs> That's it. That. Go circle it back. Another pet peeve right there. Knowing they're about to do some crazy shit and it happens, it's like, man, fuck you. I knew, fuck you. Just like kind of Sorry. rubbing it in your face beforehand. Be like, hey, good job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm playing this one. Just, I'm just playing one, by the way. And also, hey, you tried. I would leave. Okay. <laughs> I would put the game away. Hey, you tried. You'll get them next time. No big deal. I would leave. <laughs> <gasps> oh man! I would pull out blight <laughs> from dominant species. <laughs> That's so random. <laughs> What's your game, babe? What's your second one? <laughs> I'm just a bad play. Yeah, Kenzie's been on her phone this whole damn time. It's her turn. She's like, "What do I do? Whose turn is it?" I know yeah. one that you were super excited to play, and then we played it, and you were like, "I'm never gonna play this fucking game again." Can you guess what it is? The it was either Hall or Fall of the Mountain King. Oh, Fall! Oh, it was in the Hall no, of it the was Mountain in the hall King because uh, Allison was sitting next to me and she was right before me and she was doing every single thing that I wanted to She's do. She's doing that thing, yeah. Every time, yeah. Every card, every space, yeah. Everything that went through my head, she did it the second before I could. And the, and then Kenzie was like, See, that pissed me off." Kenzie was like. <laughs> Are you doing that to make me mad? <laughs> 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 when Allison is just playing the game like, as I'm it's intended. I'm just trying to win. Like I don't understand yeah, why you're mad. It's a shared. At me. It's a shared competitive board, <laughs> and Allison takes something on the board where she is allowed to. Like that's the game. And <laughs> the amount like, of death glares. Because he's like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" I don't think. I don't think I stopped staring at you that whole game. I was just like. <laughs> yeah, very intimate. And then, yeah, we <laughs> got done playing, and she was like, "Yeah, never again. I hate this game. We no longer have it." Yeah. Well, I tried the first time. I was like, "Hey, you remember that time you didn't really <laughs> like this game? You probably should get rid." Kenzie, because Kenzie was like, "No, we're trying to we're trying to cull some of our collection." 
And Kenzie's like, no, but I love them. <laughs> I love all the games. And I was like, oh, yeah? Do you love In the Hall of? She goes, murder it. <laughs> <laughs> Remove it from the premises. <laughs> Burn it and down. It is gone. It is no longer here. Yeah, you we are do have, We do have Fall. Fall of the Mountain King, which we need to play again. We do. Which feels like a cooler experience. Because I like their game, the, orig- the other one. I like the game. It's meh. It's okay. That's why I was like, okay, getting rid of it. This one, I like the game, the concept of the game more, where you're defending from goblins invading mountain. Like, that's cool. Mm-hmm. You know? We also have the Kickstarter the version. Little, we so have the Kickstarter, have the little the minis in there, little mini goblin dudes just surrounding you. So cool. Your own warriors, troll. What are they? Dwarves? Uh, trolls, I think. It's maybe it's trolls that are invading. I'm pretty sure it's... Oh. No, you're a troll. I can't remember. No, you're a troll. <laughs> no, you're a town. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's a good place to end it. I'm like, I'm heated just thinking about that game. I forgot. I'm so sorry for bringing it up. <laughs> I forgot. Do you have any last words before we go? Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's all, folks. I so hope you enjoyed uh, this episode of the Board and Scale like podcast. My face is red. Uh, <laughs> again, I've, I was one of your hosts, Sebo. We're De- professionals. <laughs> De Weezy. I'm Genzie. And our special guest. And Allison. I'm real. And I'm here. And hello. Yeah, hopefully, Allison will find a mic somewhere outside. <laughs> and then we, she can become another, you know, mainstay of I'll this show. Uh, have Sebastian add my address, and if somebody wants to get me a mic, that'd be cool. <laughs> there we go. And fund her. Uh, you know, like we said before, and all throughout this episode, because we're shamelessly plugging it. You know, make sure you keep your eyes peeled for their yes, podcast that's coming, be coming soon. out soon. If um, you're interested in books. If you're interested in books, if you're interested in other nerdy stuff, if you're interested mm. in smut. Um, then these two dirty ladies will be bringing <laughs> all of that. It's back to back. We'll be bringing all of that to you. Smut King. Smut Queens. My nickname in high school. Smut Queens. Chili Chatters. The Chili Chatters. The Dirty. The Chili dong- Chatters. The Dirty Dongers. We're going to be riding chilies. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, folks. The Midwestern Bye. goodbye. <laughs>